I have to excuse the mess. I was not planning on having people in here today. So as you can see, I line my raised beds with wood shavings. It's actually pine shavings. It keeps the weeds down. At least that's, I don't have to weed the walkways. Uh, this year's corn bed, you can see I put straw down. I actually have a uh, drip irrigation, but straw cuts way down on the amount of water that you have to use. This over here is my melon bed and cucumber. I got cucumbers there that go up that. I got pumpkins there, watermelon there, cantaloupe here, and basically I trained them to go that direction because I still have some more stuff to get done in the garden. I've left that area over there open. Um, beehives. These are my blueberries. I've got uh, five here and I've got three on another part of the property. These five are all the same variety. The other three are a different variety. Um, I'm thinking about moving the other three down here to the garden just because this garden didn't exist when I planted those first three. This was a goji berry that died and I ended up putting a, another fig tree here. Um, back here are three more planters. They all have pawpaw trees doing well. This area right here, eventually, I'm going to put um, something here. I'm not sure what yet. It actually has direct sunlight during the day, but from about 5 or 6 p.m. on, it don't. Um, also, outside of the garden over here, I've got more pawpaw trees than those two. There was a fig tree that didn't make it through the winter. Uh, hasn't done anything yet and it's already the middle of May. Uh, I cut it way back to try to get it to uh, send shoots up from the roots but so far nothing so probably gonna have to replace that one. Sad thing is that one actually fruited last year and I got uh, figs off of it. I had never ate a fresh fig until last year off of that tree and I immediately was like oh my gosh I got to have more fig trees so I showed you the one I've actually going to end up replacing that one too and if it don't come out so I have two figs this is um, an asparagus bed um, these are only the ones on that side are on their second year the ones on this side some come out some didn't over here I've got celery, tomatoes, carrots. I've got a couple more tomato plants, peppers. Um, a lot of peppers. Actually, the bugs are starting to get. And that actually looks like it's starting. It is blooming. So uh, I need to do something about. Need to figure out what bugs are on that. Nastardium plants. Nastardiums is a flowering, is a flower, um, but you can also use the leaves in salads. Um, they kind of, they kind of have a peppery taste. If you've never tasted them, you should try them. Um, these, this is my corn. There's also a, zoo, a single zucchini there. There is more peppers. Hopefully beans are going to come up. All these weeds that are here, there's nothing planted there yet. That is um, cabbage and bok choy that I'm letting go to bolt so I can collect the seeds. Um, there's also some green, uh, I'm sorry, peas in here. Over here I've got onions cauliflower there's also peas in that one there's peas in just about every one of these beds 
There's also green beans, bush beans, and uh, one of these beds. This one, matter of fact, next to the cauliflower. Um, there are pole beans where the corn's at. These are, um, I knew I was going to forget. These are a container raspberry. I can't remember what they're called, what variety, but they only get to be about three foot tall and about three foot wide. I just literally got them in this week. Um, I can't remember what the variety is. But that is pretty much my garden. Um, oh, the reason why there's nothing planted there yet is because as soon as they're ready, if you follow my Instagram, you know that I'm showing people how to start uh, sweet potatoes, how to make your own slips, and uh, this other half of this bed will be sweet potatoes. Um, I actually have probably 30 pounds of sweet potatoes left over from last year, so I'm only going to do a half bed instead of a full bed this year because I always have excess sweet potatoes. Uh, they get to be about football size, and one I can cut into quarters and literally ha have sweet potatoes for four days in a row. So uh, here I have a grapevine. This grapevine never come back to life after a winter. We had a really bad winter. We had about um, a week or two below zero, and it got a lot of my trees. Nearly a lot of my fruit trees. I have a, um, 35 fruit trees up there. And only about um, six of them made it. Uh, they literally froze to death. So uh, that's pretty much the garden. That's the garden tour. The uh, I also have, you know, I got other fruits and trees and stuff in other places of the property. But this is like the main main section probably should show you this to the door and that uh, oh I done forgot what it's called that entrance way for the grapevines I bought both of those from Amazon I put the garden fence up that has both chicken wire and field fence myself over there that pergola I built myself zoom in so you can see it a lot of people like it um, one of the corners come loose there I need to fix that that's a sunshade because um, the first half of the day that's in Sun and then for two or three hours it's in shade but then once the Sun gets back here again it's in Sun again so I put a shade cloth up there to kind of give it some shade in the evenings um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm sorry, that was 30 fruit trees that didn't come back. Here I had pears. Then I have plums. Then I have peach. Then I have apple. Then I have apple. Then I have cherry. Um, four in each 5x5 five five box. So that's pretty much the whole shebang down there's my chickens my rabbits are over on the other side of the building everything's kind of a mess right now I got a bunch of different projects going on so there's the tour